In today's tutorial, we focus on advancing ordinary autogen agents within group chats by implementing Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, technology. We'll guide you through the enhancements that allow a typical customer support agent within a group chat to not just converse, but intelligently harness historical customer support data. Before we dive into the coding, let's take a moment to preview what we're going to build. We begin with setting up a basic group chat composed of a user proxy who assigns tasks, a customer support agent tasked with addressing customer inquiries, and a supervisor dedicated to ensuring the quality of the responses meets company standards. Overseeing the chat is the group chat manager, whose role is to orchestrate the flow of the conversation. Next comes the compelling part. We'll introduce a retrieve content function, enabling the assistants to pull from a wealth of historical user interactions. This newly integrated capability will allow them to formulate perfectly fitting answers based on past conversations. We'll delve into how a retrieve user proxy agent facilitates access to a vector store automatically populated with our pre-supplied data to enrich the chat experience with timely and relevant historical insights. Without further ado, let's roll up our sleeves and start building these intelligent agents using Python. As always, we begin by creating a virtual environment to cleanly separate the dependencies. Next, we set up an app PI file. We then install PyAutogen along with Retrieve Chat. We import the PyAutogen library. We begin with our boss, which is a simple user proxy agent, affectionately known as the big cheese of proxy agents. We assign it a name and a system message. In this case, it acts as the boss, asking questions and handing out instructions like a true corporate overlord. Subsequently, we create our customer support agent, meaning we basically clone the boss, strip away some powers, and call it an assistant. Here, the assistant can access historical customer conversations as if it had an elephant's memory. We will provide the data later in a simple TXT file. Next, we establish a supervisor entity. Its solemn duty is to uphold the quality of the support agent's responses, because heaven forbid an emoji slips through. Now we can proceed to create our group chat. We assign the relevant agents to it, boss, supervisor, and agent, and begin with an empty message array. Then we reset the boss and appoint a manager to oversee the chat that arguably doesn't really need managing yet, but we do love a good hierarchy. We provide it with an LLN configuration and, as usual, we make use of a JSON file called oiconfiglist. We create this file and copy the API key as well as the language model into it. This time we're opting for GPT-4 Turbo because go big or go home, right? It's the metaphorical sports car of language models. We can now initiate the chat and accordingly define the task. In this case, it should respond to a customer query. Are there current discounts? We now find ourselves in a situation where we have the agents, but they cannot access existing conversations. In our quest to teach old agents new tricks, we add the retrieve functionalities to allow them a glimpse into historical dialogues. Before we can proceed, we must first integrate the retrieve user proxy agent into our digital arsenal. To get old data, we first need to bring in a retrieve user proxy agent. We name this one BossAid. It will be an assistant with content retrieval capabilities. Now, we need to inform it of the retrieval configuration. 
The task will be Q&A. The docs path, meaning where the information resides, will be a simple text file in the same directory, named data text. We create this and add previously prepared queries to it. These are typical inquiries that, in this case, a customer support agent must respond to. We now need to teach the agents how to access existing conversations from the past. For this purpose, we first need to provide a configuration that indicates there is a retrieve content method and how the agents can use it. To keep this video concise, I've prepped the configuration ahead of time and will paste it in now. In the configurations functions array, we introduce a function called retrieve content. Its job is to fetch relevant context or data from stored conversations to help answer questions related to a given problem or message. The function specifies parameters, with a key one being the message, which must be provided as a string. This message parameter is crucial. It tells the retrieve user proxy agent precisely what issue it needs to address, ensuring it retrieves only the most pertinent content. Next, we have the actual method that retrieves data from the vector store for a query, such as our customer query. The retrieve content function uses our boss aid agent to pull up information that helps answer questions. Here's what it does with a message. It checks if we need to update our conversation records. When updates are needed, it takes note of the issue and crafts a suitable reply. A quick peek at the implementation confirms a context update check is in place. The function looks for the phrase update context within the last or first 20 characters of a message, setting update context case one to true if it's found, indicating a need for a context update. It also checks whether a predefined prefix is missing from the message, which would also signal an update is required. If everything is already up to date, it simply prepares a basic response using the message. In the end, the function returns the tailored reply or just echoes the message if there's nothing new to add. In essence, this function makes sure that boss aid always gives out responses that are backed by our previous chats, which are stored in a file named data.txt. It decides quickly whether to refresh the conversation context or use the initial message based on the conversation history related to the message. We now add the configuration to the agents and the supervisor and also embed the function so that both the agents and the supervisor not only know of its existence and how to use it, but also can execute it independently. Now that we have everything in place, we can test the functionality. We observe that the boss sends the request into the group chat. As the data loads into the vector store, we witness a response materialize. It's like magic, but with more keyboards and less rabbits. Yes, we offer a 10% discount for new customers, says the response, and even throws in a code, because who doesn't like an unexpected bonus? We look on as the supervisor, our chat's digital overlord, approves the response, ready for it to grace the customer's screen, much like a proud parent at a school play. If you're eager to dive deeper into this fascinating world, remember to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Your engagement fuels our passion for creating more content like this.